danger here. Mm. Just in this laning stage, you know, before the team fight starts to come out, one his personality or persona is a little bit arrogant, but at least he's got something. Like I don't yeah. know, yeah. I don't know, and I've interviewed a lot of these players. I have no idea what they like. Most of them, you're like. Tell me anything about yourself. Anything. <laughs> I like. Please, I beg you. They're like, yeah. they're, they'll be like, I like Dota and I like turtles. And you're like, that's all I need to know. Because oh, uh, Bombing is gone. We didn't see the first bullet coming up first. Yeah. Either way, here, CML actually gets it on Bombi mm. before Den Sanity goes down. So, uh, not predicting. I mean, uh, that's what I expect. You, the resident pulse. So. Mm. It's not, uh, yeah, it's, it's not going too bad for either one of these players here in the mid lane. Might oh, go a little bit bad here for CDR on the top lane, though. Shanks, shots do come through. Is Tino going to be able to catch up here? Because Shanks taking a whole load of damage. The blood grenade comes out now as well. With that snowball, they are going to be able to get the kill. And it looks like there might be a chase down here, but Tino, he can't actually catch up to CDR and doesn't throw the spear here to try and get the kill, which uh, level... Uh, it's only level one. I thought it was going to be a level two spear, but mm. yeah, could have potentially... Yeah, uh, you, yeah, they say you, you take those opportunities when they come along. Uh, and it's not like CML, I, CML had rotated off, right? So it's not even like they were going to put the Centaur under pressure. Dispose comes out, but the troll too busy farming out that level, uh, that camp uh, just below the, the tier 1 tower. Gyrocopter's going to rotate into oh, this one oh. now as well. They're going to look for a fight. The homie moves on, will be pro level 6. Troll Warlord, he does have that battle trance if he needs to pop it out now. But he's going to be caught in the shards. doesn't want to use it until he can get full efficiency out of it. Does pop it, but the Centaur Stampede comes away into Insanity. He yes, is going to spend all of his time chasing that horse now. It does work off the Insanity. He's going to be in danger. Stampede, uh, excuse me, the Stomp comes through into the double edge and JG gets a kill. And yeah, this is what we're talking about, right? You see that Centaur, it was the first pick coming out. And you go, yeah, the Troll seems like a good idea. Here. Level 6 on Tatino now. What else can they do with this one? The arena is up. They're going to try and get the chase down onto Castaway. Castaway, if they have the damage, those Shadow Poisons will finish oh. the job. Yeah, Lewis gets it with the Illuminate. Can they get that jump onto Ken or Ken? Will he be able to get himself away from this one underneath the Tier 1 tower? They don't want to drop that arena. And Tino, he is just roaming around. He's looking for it, but he's not going to be able to find the opening. Centaur's going to be back up in... Uh, I believe it was the, what, the Phoenix? No, sorry, the Tusk. So 2 for 2, not a big deal. Sure, Troll wants to get some net worth, but he's going to be farming with the Battle Fury later and recovering anyway. So, it's fine. Uh, no one really walks out of that happy. Uh, CDR. He's going to be unhappy if this lands. Oh, he's unhappy. Yeah. Arena comes out. They're going to be able to get the spear back into the Illuminate damage now as well. Even Is that an urn or is that a full spirit vessel? It's just the urn coming out here for Lewis so far. But yeah, CDR should oh, fall. Stop. He's trying to waste some time, it looks like. Maybe he try and farm some of these neutrals with a flat cannon, but he will go down. Shanks oh. gets the kill onto JG, bottom lane though. Ken is going to respawn, getting the kill onto CML. Can they get this chase down? Shadow Demon trying to get himself away from this one. Uh. Is it going to be another astral step? There's not for another 15 seconds, and Shanks, he doesn't actually have the disruptions. Well, he was a farm support before he died. That's kind of cool. Yeah, a uh, decent amount of gold here. Um, bottom lane. JG, there is going to be TP in. Homie Missile going to be onto the Mars now as well. Is he going to be able to get himself away? Tino, that snowball, it might break before it connects. Charge comes through. Tino's going to be able to dodge around them, but the Homie Missile will be here and CDR. Even going to be able to get that one point of Rocket Barrage going. Yeah, the call down comes through. That will be a kill. CDR picks it up. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, there's going to be the Stampede coming out. And CML, he's going to be killed off. It looks like Ken as well as the Phoenix. And the now egg. we see the Supernova come out. Shanks should be able to move himself away from this one. No, the Remnant Ooh. grabs him, drives him back in just in time for the Centaur Stomp. And they get a good four man streak. You know, Two for two in one lane, two in the other lane. Really good pickup there from Neil. Really good coordination between the egg as well as the eighth ribbon. I mean, honestly, the eighth ribbon can gets all the credit. Bobby just pressed R, but <laughs> this is going to be the playmaker now. You know, I've, I've got my one item. I'm online. Uh, and a nice move by Execration, sneaking the Roshan here. And I don't think yeah. Neon has any idea that it's going for the way the scan comes. Out. Yeah, that is the dire scan. They know now, but. JG's TPing in, like the rest of the team. Alright, they're all coming in. But Ooh. do they get here in time? Yeah, Roshan is still on a fifth of his health left. There's gonna be the spear pushback. But bash it onto Dan Sanity. JG gets still gets it. himself in the stomp. The arena comes out here. They want to go for this one, but the blade mail, Dan Sanity still gets it. So they do still get this Roshan Dan Sanity, though. This might be an Aegis pop from this one. He's gonna be using that battle trance early, early on. They get the kill onto the they centaur. He now is down. Supernova Beautiful. for the setup onto the respawn. Shank's gonna be here though. Disruption. Castaway comes in. There is gonna be that water punch coming out onto Dan Sanity. Dan Sanity's already used that ultimate now. What damage can they do? He's caught inside the Roshan pit, Dan Sanity Snowball it's going to be coming through for the stun, they get the kill, they take down two and an Aegis here for a Centaur trade-off well worth it for Neon and yeah, it was kind of like once he was locked in um, we do get the shards I mean, you look at this 
Probably not going to be, uh, maybe the Mars, uh, maybe, but uh, yeah, I think the Shadow Demon was going to be your know, one of the uh, best two choices to get out shard troll? wise here. But oh, do they find the troll? Trolls in the trees, and it looks like they might be able to gain anyway. There is going to be the arena coming out now as well. But look at this, Tuantino just straight up disappears. Den Sanity trying to get himself away from this one. The Battle Trans can't come out. There is going to be that rundown though by that Stampede. Den Sanity leap up here by CML and wants to get himself back in can you know help us carry out now. But the damage coming through. Shanks, he's going to be able to do a little bit with the disruption, but they take down CML while this is going on. Battle Trance will be used, and Sanity trying to do what he can up against CDR. CDR with that PKB coming through now. And there will be that Supernova on the back lines, and it's the Troll Warlord once again. He just gets taken down. Four heroes can't do anything here. And CDR, he even lives with it to get the, um, the save out while that Supernova is going. You're the uh, offense indeed. Just melting heroes left, right, and center with that coming out. Yep. Um, but yeah. Especially I, with. Next time. Is it? Oh. Arena into Ken? the spear here. Void Spirit is going to be taking a lot of damage and no not way. going to be able to get the save with the snowball. So Ken is down. It's going to be a big pick up of CML. Tino, though, pops up BKB, gets low anyway. Do they want to carry on fighting until it's one stampede? It looks like it's going to be here for the retreat. Solobine, yeah, cast away with that Solobine on top of him, slowed right down. Even it was at the purge as well. I think it was. And he will be able to get the kill into Castaway. Castaway, without that stampede, he was just running through pudding, though, it looked like. And yeah, yeah. they do get a two trade off here, Execration. So good pick offs in there. Mm. It is, especially they get one one of the you know like the pivotal target. Very impressive to catch Ken. You know the Void Spirit with Mars, no easy to catch, but well done by uh, Tino to land it. Well, and Ken, he's going for. Not sure I love it actually. He's got the Manta, which I'm okay with, but he wants to go Parasma before he gets the BKB. Uh, I'm a big advocate for. B but I mean, you look at the the lineup for Execration. Uh, apart from Spear. Yo, disruption. Yep. Uh, I think get the kill on Tino. Yo, who did he? Did he re does he really need to worry about being stun locked? I mean, there's uh, the rebound, the rebound as well. I, you can, you don't have to worry about like you can use it as a dispel to remove the root as well from the troll warlord. I think there's a lot of value for it. Speaking of yeah. troll warlord. Uh, uh, he's yeah. in danger. Those are going to be the those uh, the shard shards coming out here. Should I go for the egg? Yeah, Dansanity wow. pops the BKB. He just goes down here. Ken gets the kill. That is, no he, he didn't even need the ultimate. Yeah, it, it's uh, it ain't great. It ain't great here for Dan. You know, I'll be, I don't think this is the best Lotus Orb game. Here we go. Smoke coming out. There is going to be Arena coming through now as well. What are they going to try and do with this one? There's going to be Supernova. Hey. The Supernova isn't going to be broke. So with that Stampede coming out as well, they're going to be able to get the stun onto the Troll Wall. The Troll Wall even through the BKB. The Lockdown Disruption is going to keep him alive for a little bit longer. CML jumping in now. He's got that Unleash going. They're going to be doing a lot of damage, but there's still going to be two deaths coming out here on the side of Execration as this fight continues to break out. Tino going to be spammed by four heroes here. He's separated from the survivors of his team, and it's going to be another three down on the side of Execration. Uh, I don't know if we should see the fight recap because Troll World he ulted, he BKB'd right next to the egg and he just ignored Bombay completely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you don't think we're going to be seeing that uh, PA support like absolute gutting again? Oh god, not, do you remember that? The the, the dagger range was like 1200 and people were like, yeah. yep, this is a support. Like, why, do, why do you do this? <laughs> who, who came up with that and who hurt them? What was what was Ice Frog smoking that day? Oh, yeah. Spear, Spear nice Spear. Now as well, but there is going to be an Aegis, so Let's that's going to be the respawn. Even if the, I mean, the Gyrocopter might not even go down here. The Snowball save comes out. They do pop that Aegis. Aegis in the end. Supernova is still up now as well. The Phoenix is pretty darn low, so we might just have to pop this one if there's going to be some aggression coming up with the call down here. Marcy caught in the shards. There's going to be the oh. four staff away, but there's still the damage coming through. I mean, Missile connects, and like you said, that Rocket Barrage, when we being level one CML, he might have gone down here if that was a higher level. But the bounce back coming out onto the Centaur. Centaur, JG is going to be able to use that Stampede get his entire teammates al alive CDR turning egg. this one around and Ken he's still got that amplified damage room coming out now as well Castaway there's going to be the Walrus Punch coming through onto Lewis and now the Supernova comes out Ooh. CML he tries to dive himself in but he dives himself right into the mosh pit and with 3-4 heroes around there was no way he was going to crack that egg yeah uh, actually yeah 3 buybacks coming out here from the side of Execration and I didn't see Shanks yeah 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 uh, so if they go in on this and they lose the fight here, Execration, this could just potentially be game over here for them in game number one. Oh, and, and I just give the call oh. Yeah. Uh, they got trolled, but I, think you, I don't think you care too much. Just force out the glyphs. Oh, Tino, he's in. He's deep. 
he's dead. He's straight up dead. And yeah, Lotus onto JG now as well. So they're going to be able to take at least one lane of racks from this one. And Lewis still doesn't respawn for another nine seconds. So there's no Aegis now on Neon. But do they want to commit onto this one? Because the Satanic is up on the Gyrocopter. Mm. And they can just carry on going here, it looks like. Ultimates, how far away? Supernova, 50 seconds. Cold on 30 yeah, seconds. Stampede is like seven seconds. So if they really need to, they can run away from this one. Because that Stampede Ultimate will be back here. But yeah. Troops but coming in. How do you. The backdoor didn't last. Yeah, start. You can't, you can't start. Gonna the come fight. through. R2 and CML just goes down. This is gonna be a full magazine. In fact, I think they're not gonna leave the base here in Neon Esports. They wanna end this game right here, right now. Uh, we'll see if Excretion is even going to like give them that chance or they're gonna GG out right now. Marcy's dead. Four versus five. You have this. You have Tino. Can Tino land a good spear? Yeah. Uh, it has to be. It has to be pretty much this like an incredible spear to get them back in this game. And CDR, so yeah, they're just going to carry on cleaning out creep waves now as well. You know, putting the pressure, like I said, I mean, Mega Creep's coming through on the next wave. It's going to be the arena coming through, okay. but what can they do with this one? Bombie's still outside of it now as well. The BKBs are going to be going. It's going to be the Supernova coming through and Density. He's trying to rip through, but he's not going to be able to get anything out of this. It feels like Ken, nope. he's going to be able to take down Tino Lewis. And uh, they do get the kill onto Castaway, but the GG's are going to be called it. Shank's back, Lion's Dive comes in. And yeah, this is going to be it for game number one. 35 minutes in. Execration, it felt like they could never really get going here. 12 kills to the 32 and the 33 king. Is it? Wait, wait, wait. Is it support is it a TB? Blow up. So, yeah, uh, yeah I, I think this... Yeah, I mean, you can see Ken in the lane is being punished a lot coming out here from Lewis already. But... Yeah, I think once Ken starts to rotate, it's going to be a little bit harder for the Tiny to keep up. And uh, Dan Sainz here, going to be oh, taking a lot oh. of damage on the top lane. Is he going to be run down? He is! Wow. Bombi gets the first blood. The Bushwhack comes out now as well. Body blocks, but it looks like Bombi, even at that level 2, the Doom isn't interested in getting the kill into CML. So you're just like, yeah, if you can get it, you can have that one there, Bombi. Damn! First blood, the Medusa is not getting a whole lot of farm. And bottom lane, by the way, is a nightmare to deal with if you are on uh, an Execration. Two melee yep. against Venge Luna. Ooh, like the vacuum comes out, that keeps Shanks alive. Yeah, but to what end? The lane's still pretty miserable for them at the moment. It's uh, you know the, like you got two stuns. They're not the longest duration, but they are there. Oh, Bombi loses his life in the, in the meantime. Fine. And yeah, every time I'm looking at Abed, he's just got no mana. And this was without yeah. any creeps being eaten by the Doom. This is just that scorched earth harass. He took level at level two. He took Infernal Bla Blade, which is why it got them the kill. He's just been spamming it. It's it's the cooldown has been reduced quite a bit. We used to be 16 at level one, now it's 13. So. Just yeah, Densinity does have the mana boots, but it looks like he might go down again here. Gonna be chased yeah. down top lane. They do get the kill onto Bombi, but Densinity... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Was that a... Yeah, he just had a, a bit of a boost with a wand as well. So, yeah, JG doesn't chase down onto this one. That's just... When you're on the receiving end of that, that is one yeah. of the worst feelings in Dota. But when you get it off, oh boy, do you feel like you're on top of the world here. There's going to be the Dream Cult coming out onto the Terrorblade, though. Going to be a lot of pressure being put on. And he's only level 4, so again, the support Shank's Terrorblade. Not able to get that Sunder off. Mm. He just gets caught out, killed off. There was really nothing he could do, though. And it also gives him a bit of mana for him as well as Bomb Beats. It's a nice aura. Yeah. It's not the biggest deal. And looks like he is using those um, those illusions just a minute to stack up. Bombi loses his life, so nice kill the top lane. And Execration, honestly, this top duo is spot in the grand finals. So, you know, yeah, winning is good. Sure. Losing, not so good. Well, when he, there is going to be a static storm coming out here. Actually, traps three heroes out. Bomb, Bombi Squeeze moves wow. himself away. Magic Missile. Yeah, it's going to be the swap out now as well. Lewis could be in a little bit of danger. Blood Grenade will be thrown through. Medusa. But the Medusa going to get involved in this one. Do they want to try and go for the fight? Castaway going to get really darn low on this. They don't get the kill onto anyone. Oh, it's actually going to be the Doom being thrown out. Seamel does get the kill onto Castaway now as well. Was that Bushwhack? They've got the lockdown. Might be able to get the kill onto the Medusa. Medusa, though, it's still mana being burnt down. It's got slight. You know, the mana regen coming oh, through here as well. Lord. It's going to be a really nice piggy pole to get away from this one. And like you say, that Doom just not effective on the Medusa at all whatsoever. Glimpse comes back. JG going to try and break some ankles through these trees, but he will be the one being broken. A three. I figured out a way to make Sand King better, by the way. I, I picked. Oh, wait. Top lane. Uh, bottom lane. Bottom lane. Tina is in trouble. Yeah, they're going to try and go into this one now. Do they have the lockdown? They might be able to take the kill onto Tino. Tino is trying to get himself away. The Sunder comes through, but JG is going to be able to get the Doom off. So this might actually be the Doom for both heroes in this lane here as the chase comes out. Ken trying to get on top of Shanks. He actually doesn't have the Dream Call for a couple of seconds here. And Lewis, he takes down CDR. Backlines, backstab coming in. CML and Lewis both getting involved into this one. And Execration, they are Ken? taking some really good trades here. Ken, uh, Castaway as well going to be walking in. So Ken does get the kill onto Shanks. Castaway walks himself out. Dream Call will be used broken on the Medusa and can I don't is 
I guess the problem is that Lewis is so damn tanky that it almost makes... Like, if you can get it before he gets his spells off, cool. But if he gets his spells off, by the time the Doom expires, he'll have another round of spells ready. You know, it's like yeah. the cooldown is the same as the duration. So if he gets a volley off and then you Doom him, you're like, wow, this is garbage. CML. <laughs> there is going to be the swap in. Static Storm comes off. CML might be in a little bit of danger, but not as much danger as Castaway. Castaway going to be killed off here. They get the Lucent Beam out. JG is going to jump in. Infernal Blade here. They might be able to get the kill. Sharpshooter is going to do wow. that job. And now they get the Doom out. There's going to be the Eclipse coming through, but it bounces onto all of these illusions. Damn, nice spoil. dude. The damage isn't going to be off, and Lewis tries to come in with the avalanche. He won't actually be on to CDR as JG has to run away for his life. Mm. And that is a one for one trade, but all of the ultimates being cast here onto Neon, it just makes that fight so much more worth it. They're even going to be able to get the tier ones out here for execration. And the thing is, Neon, they have a ward in the cliff. They want to take this fight. They're like, we have a mind. Oh my lord, Bombi! Bombi is gonna Dead. be bombing out of it. It looks like the vacuum comes through, and hell, even JG could be in a little bit of trouble here. Tino does get the kill onto Bomb. They're even net worth. That's pretty bad. And JG, um, well, he's around. Oh <laughs> God, Ken! Oh, uh, Ken's gonna fall. The swap comes out. They're gonna try and go into the it's tiny. Tiny's got that BKB going. Yeah, look at this one. 3.2k health. He just goes for the TP out, and they can't really get the kill from that. While this is going on, like you say, though, uh, CDR. But secondly, uh, that's at least new. Is it? Because uh, Barbie's been around for a while, and you know, the other Knuff, the Kennedy jokes, they've been. Uh, they're they're kind of played out now. And yeah, I still make them. Um, but yeah, you, you have this Aegis coming through as well. They're going to try and go for the, the lockdown. Bombie's going to be able to get that sharpshooter off. But the Aegis is still here for just under two minutes. And it looks like Execration. They want to take full advantage of this one. CDR is going to be pushed back by the Illusions as well. Oh, Lewis is going to try and get that JG. jump in. There is going to be the Doom that gets caught out here. Look at the damage coming out. JG, he just has to pop that BKB. Turn around here. But Den Sanity, out of mana the first time. Are they going to be able to get the swap? Break that I Aegis. They do. But can they go for it a second time here? JG might be in a little bit of trouble. Throws that Doom out onto the Tiny. And it looks like, are they going to be able to go for this one? There's going to be a lot oh, of damage. Wow. He actually get the kill on Tino. Look at this one. Then Sanity actually gets ripped apart. They get three. CML, he's going to try and go for that TP away. Do they have the reveal? It's going to be the TP away from the Tiny now as well. The Tiny used that BKB. He will be able to get himself away, but Ken, he gets the triple kill from this. They gave up a, uh, a range racks, but damn, dude, I wasn't expecting that fight from Neon. Dude, no, no, this was this first, man. Execration, anything crazy there. Standard items on Medusa. Tiny, he's going for the Kanda. We'll give him a bit of that damage boost. I like it, because yeah. tiny, late game, it feels like you don't oh. really have that one shot that you used to. Twin oh. Gate, Ken's already TP'd away from this one now as well. CDR has to pop right. that BKB. Castaway going to be taking a lot of damage. It's going to be swap in Densanity. Trying to get anything more from this one with the Stone Gates, but everybody's going to get the TP. No! Hoodwin gets procced. He's in the trees. He might just be able to hide away from this one. So oh, they know. Try and scout this one out. He's going to get oh. through with a scurry. He's diving. He is. He's literally scurrying for his life. You lose your two supports. Ken was already out here. And yep. it looked it because it's super expensive but super effective. You're like, do I go for Aether, Glimmer, things like that? Oh, the insanity is underneath the ward. Yeah, they do see there's gonna be the smoke wraparound coming out from the rest of execration though. There's gonna be the smoke the and smoke, smoke it does break. They get the Glemnir lockdown now onto Dan Sanity. Uh, Doom actually comes out onto the Medusa. The BKB is going from JG now uh, as well. Yeah. But again, Medusa just to be able to run away from this one. But the look at this one. CDR just gets in the middle. Jeez. Everybody rips through them with those bouncing glaives. And it looks like they might even be able to get the Tiny from this one as well. Tiny did actually get bashed by the Hoodwig, gets killed off. There's gonna be the buyback from the disruptor, but Buyback into what Ken is low. Glimpse comes back, but he's going to be able to get that face shift off. So Ken is going nowhere. Just groups up with the rest of his team. And this time, the Doom did come out onto the Medusa. Stops that stone gaze. So Neon Esports are just able to run down everyone on the side of... I mean, sure. I mean, playing that fourth core, that's, I see it all the time in my pubs. So why, if it happens in my pubs, why isn't it going to happen in pro games? They might want to try and fight on this now as well. They're going to be able to get themselves CML. on top of this disruptor CML. He will go I down. Bet. There's going to be the glimpse back onto JG. Can they get the chase onto Dan Sanity? Maybe go for that dream call if they want to. There is going to be that four star forward, it looks like, onto the Medusa. But there's going to yeah, be swap. jump. Yep, swap. They instantly they break it out now. And there's going to be the Doom. Pops up BKB on the Medusa. But look at it. Again, the Glaives, they bounce around. Clean up onto these illusions. CDI is taking a lot of damage, but still has that Aegis for another three minutes. Trying to get the chase down onto the Medusa but it looks like the Medusa might be away from this one. Meanwhile, in the river, mm. CDR, do they pop the Aegis here with a reflection of the Luna? They do. Respawn coming out. Lewis on the back lines. He's got that amplified damage room coming out now as well. And they've already lost both supports here. CDR, this is not a fight. Look at how quickly CDR gets blown up. The amplified damage room on Lewis. This might... Uh, this this okay. was definitely not a good fight here for Neo. Yeah, I mean, they still... It was the same recipe as the previous game, but some uh, previous match, way... He wants Tino, but beautiful use of the Sunder, and he's going to be just fine.
Yeah, Ken still has that BKB going, trying to get himself away, has that orb as well as the TP, so might be able to get the blink away to safety. Will be able to, yeah, get himself away from this one. Who, they, who can they find here? Everything's available from Neon except the swap, yeah. but that's going to take only a few seconds to come back. And the JG. MKB is up this time. JG has popped that BKB. It's going to be a lot of damage onto Lewis now as well. Stop. The Doom comes out onto the tiny jump in. Ken going to try and do what he can inside of this one. They've got to be careful. CDR taking CDR. so much damage. Pops that Satanic though. He will be able to live through a lot of this one. He gets stunned up though. He's going to fall. No He's buyback. got a buyback. He bought out for the Monkey King bar. Oh my. Oh. Dude. Yeah. He just gets it, stone gazed. They're going to be able to pick yep. up three now. I think this is going to be execration. They've mm. already broken the base. There's no buybacks on the side of Neon. And everybody up on the side of execration. And yeah. The tier fours. Yeah. A whole minute without your Luna. No bomb either. It was your secondary damage source this game. And they're going to be able to rip through tier fours. Hell, they might just be able to. If they hold their ground here, they might just go for the end back lines to get the jump on Ken. He's gonna be glimpsed back. He's got a phase shift. He does get a phase shift off. Okay. So He's got no buyback. Through. And JG is walking forward, trying to take as much heat as he can for the team. There is no glyph, so. Oh yeah, this is scary. Tino's got a, a, a scythe coming on the way. Yeah, Bombi is back now as well. It's gonna be the BKB. Swap comes out actually onto the tiny here with the Dream Call coming through as well. And Ken trying to do what he can, as he can uh, but you've got to some shut damage down his tiny. BKB tiny. Yeah, he's good. just gonna go into the buildings, blinks himself across well, the build, vacuum inside of that static storm, and they also have the game. That fight in the river with the Aegis on the Luna. Okay, the Bloodseeker, if he, if he gets on top of the egg, cool. Yeah. Oh, God, what was that neutral that planted a tree? Oh, they're going to be able to get a double bushwhack off top lane, though. Uh, Dennis going to get down low. Uh, JG, do they get the kill onto this one? CML, there's going to be the Timber Chain coming in. No whirling death. CML, he doesn't tick down, but oh, Bombi's but looking for they it. See him. They've got the vision. Yeah, they've got the vision here. Bombi's looking for an Acorn shot. He's going to be able to get in range. He's going to take a tower shot from... Hmm. If he had 48 health, I think he would, have, he would live. If he had like 48, 47, I think he'd live, but it's, oh, let's see. Oh. He goes down. <laughs> Bombi picks up the first blood. <laughs> that was the best. All right, 50 per level. Going from 90 to 140 is nice, but 140 to 190 is like, eh. Uh, top lane. Actually, she's going to be an early point in the rocket barrage coming out here for the gyrocopter now as well. They do get on top of him with that one, but look at this one. The flat cannon. Timber chain doesn't connect to anything, and the could be the Icarus dive from Shanks. Do they get the kill into JG? JG, there's going to be a blue grenade coming through onto Timosaur. Timosaur, he's got that double bracer. He's a big tanky Whoa. boy. He's going to come back in. Does he get the kill? Shanks, he will fall. JG gets the kill. He's playing right on the edge of his life here. Eventually, he does fall. Cast away. It's actually going to be Shanks from the grave that gets that kill. Home in missile into Bombi. Bombi wasn't going to be able to do the eye shots do come through here, and it looks like Bombi, well, it's only going to be CML on top of him because uh well tusk he's gonna fall to densanity yeah castaways he wants to go back to that fire sort of help his teammate out but at the end there's like a fraction of our power here these maelstrom builders you know there's no cleaves there's no flat <laughs> cannons there's no bouncing glaives uh, no split shot but uh, by the way i've seen invisible season one season two any good have you have you uh, tuned in yet I've not actually watched it. I read the comic when the comic was oh. the original run, and the comic is amazing, my dude. It is mm. like probably one of my top ten, top five, mm. maybe. My favorite. Um, Ken is going Kaya first. I've seen some people go Bloodstone first. Some people go Kaya, but the Kaya does accelerate your farm more thanks to the amount of uh, mana regeneration it gives you. Whereas Bloodstone is a little bit more fighty of an item. Yeah. I mean, and... obviously both are very useful because Kai also gives you damage amp, but in terms of farming, I favor the Kai. Oh, dear. Twin gates going to be used. You can see the you know, esports. He sent three heroes top. They're like, where's the gyrocopter? Well, the answer is he mm -hmm. took that twin gate and got a kill. Well, Shanks actually got the credit for the kill, but... Uh... This is very scary for CDR. You know, in the in the core, again, carry to carry matchup, it is so much better to be the yeah. gyrocopter than just to be the bloodseeker. Oh, speaking of that, though... Yeah, they didn't get that tier one tower just yet. So the TP is going to come in here and the shards come out. Then Sanity, Blood Right, they should be able to get this kill onto the Gyrocopter. And that tier one tower will live. Bombi, of course, he gets that kill now. The run down onto Tino. Tino taking a lot of damage. Ken, the lightning to slow down the Centaur. And the Centaur doesn't have that stampede. But Ken ain't fast enough. Yeah, four legs. Uh, it's not going to be fast. I suppose it's a, it's a foot race there. And the Centaur will win out. Phoenix, though, should go down. Yeah, the chase down with the Bloodseeker will be able to catch up, get that kill. So. That's actually going to be a problem for execution the entire game. They don't have good tower push. Uh, yeah. like, oh, Neon? We should be okay here. Oh, no. Not if Lewis shows up, though. 
Nope, Rolling Thunder comes out now as well. Castaway's going to try and use that snowball for as long as he can just to waste some time here. But Lewis might actually want to go for the chase down into Bombi. And Castaway, oh. he's going to go down. Couldn't try, try and deny that Arcane Rune. Lewis does get the kill onto Bombi there as well. So two supports picked up for pretty much free here. Double edge here and CDR. He could be um, going back to base with hoof stomps in his face. Overall. Oh. Uh, JG. Nice timber chain. But is it going to be enough? It's the Rolling Thunder connected. They are going to be able to get the kill here. It's actually going to be CML that gets the credit for it. In fact, well, I mean, Bombi's going to be close, but surely no. Not going to be able to stop that kill onto the Tusk. Sharpshoot. You want to go You want to go as early as you can. You get like BKB and Bloodseeker, and that's it. You can't yeah. wait any longer. But one thing, though, is that the Leshrac, I think he's going to be the true carry in this game. It's not Bloodseeker. You know, CDR is going to be like disruptive and annoying mm -hmm. them and things like that, but it's going to be Ken who does the damage. Well, Bombi, he's tried to go right for the sharpshooter, but there was a stampede to come out now as well. Bloodwreck comes down, but are they able to get the kill? Everybody gets themselves away. Tino, he pops out. Blade Mail will still go down. Castaway gets it with a Walrus Punch. Call down will be used, but are they able to follow up onto this one? Ooh. Everyone outside the call down now as well. The homing missile connects onto the Tusk. Tusk is just going to be able to shrug it off. They get Tino for that, and yeah, Nina Esports even baited out a couple of uh, the ultimates too. So not a bad time there for them at all. And Terror Wave was also used in that situation. So overall, if you're, and you didn't want to take a fight too early, right? You just use the Bloodstone. Yeah. It's fairly long cooldown, 35 seconds. So you can't just like, you know, if a fight ends, you can't go in for another one straight away. Oh, they're going to be able to get on top of the Gyrocopter now as well. They've got that lockdown coming through. The Blood Rate will be here. Rupture's going to be used. Sharpshooter onto the Gyrocopter. I think the Insanity, he just has to accept his fate. And he does go down. And this time mm -hmm. around, the Hoodwink did go. Okay, they get the kill onto JG. That's it's fine. Yeah. You know, it's like... No, no. And yeah, the Bloodseeker can just wait that one out. Um, mm. If he is going to be hitting the egg, you know, while his teammates take down um, the rest of the team. There is going to be a smoke up coming out from Execration now, though. They're looking for this Gyrocopter on the side of Neon once again, moving through the Dire Jungle. They might be able to take a fight here. Not everyone. The Bloodseeker is going to be catching up. I think about to, to take an engagement. Ken, smoke's okay. going to break. It's going to be CML. going to be the perfect one forward now as well. The jump in from Tino and Rolling Thunder to follow up. It's a lot of damage coming out to Ken. Ken's going to try and survive. And the snowball, nice snowball, it keeps him going. The Supernova. But the snowball, is it going to be have to uh, keep him out of this one, Ken? The inside those shards himself. Going to be stunned up by that supernova, but it doesn't matter. They've already got two kills. They take down this gyrocopter. They are chasing for more. The Icarus dive has to come out. Lotus Orb once again onto Lewis, but he's going to be rooted up. And Boomba, he's going to be fine with this one. You know, Bombi just taking the route himself. If it means they get the kill, rupture onto the Phoenix. Phoenix, the dive in tier threes on this. We're 19 minutes in, and they might be able to get the kill. They will be able to Tino? get the kill. Okay, Tina was like, I don't want to commit suicide now. I still say it's better to go high ground with Roche with the Aegis than you know and take the risk. Oh, Let me comes out. They're gonna be able to get the lock the bushwhack comes through now as well. Timber saw the sharpshooter, wow. dude, just deletes him. What kind of damage does he have? Oh, he's got the Grove. I mean, he just did so much damage. This yeah. game, Bobby has given us two amazing moments. The first one with the A card shot next to the tower, and now with this Gleipnir on the uh, on the flying gyrocopter. <laughs> yeah, because I suppose it's like it's not a blink, you know. Yeah. The, you are still you know a solid thing. There's no interruption, so yeah, mm. there's no way to kind of like. Oh, Stop it up. from flying at you and speed up flying at you. There's going to be a flying squirrel coming at CML. He's going to be taking a lot of damage once again. The bushwhack comes through. Sharpshooter Tino. not even needed. It hits onto the centaur, I think, there. And Tino, the rush is going to be coming out. He's going to have to try and go for that TP, but the damage is just way too much. Oh, they're crumbling. They're crumbling yeah. on Execration. That was, this is the second time that Tino does a jump like that. The first time he didn't get punished, but this time it's like, oh, wait, Ken, Ken. Yeah, let's take some hits. More here, Ken. Yeah, there is going to be that supernova coming through. Ken's going to be in a little bit of trouble, but with that snowball, the snowball is going to... Is it going to outlast the supernova? It doesn't. So they do lose Castaway, and Ken is going to try and do what he can. He does have the spirit vessel on him now as well. Takes a lot of damage, and Ken will fall. But look at this one. CDR, he wants his revenge. The buyback comes through from the Tusk. They want to... Uh, is he just coming in for protection? It looks like he is, because his teammates are low, so he's just making sure they get out of life. Neon's kind of arrogance gets spun. It looks mm. like Execration. They're making, I don't want to say a last ditch. Oh, they mm -hmm. might even be able to find CDR here. CDR is going to show on lane. There's two, three heroes around. Tino isn't here, but CDR, he's going to be slowed down. He's not going to his BKB he either here. The Bloodseeker, the Bloodseeker. The Rupture comes through. Sunder's going to be here. Damage JG. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be another one by one here? He's trying to get to the back lines, but the damage, the Spirit oh, Vessel on be. top of JG now as well. He's got his teammates rotating in. The Glengnir for the catch. JG, he might just live through this one. And the damage the Sharpshooter won't connect, but the Walrus Punch into that point blank snowball. They get the kill on 
onto Lewis. And now Tino, though, jumps himself in. He should be able to get himself onto Castaway. Castaway did buy back on that last fight, so he is going to be dead 70 seconds around here. Phoenix. And the Gyrocopter not even here, though. You look at this one. Bombi is going to be cleaning up. Double. He takes down two. Is he going to be able to go for more onto this one? Tino's yes, low. Yes, he Bounce. Tino pops that BKB. Going to go for the right clicks here. Ken with the chase down. Stomp. Oh, it doesn't matter because there is going to be that Wind Waker. Full Wind Waker. And Ken gets the kill. So even when they take a bad... In so how well, how well would the support disruptor be doing here? Oh, he'd be crushing it. <laughs> Chase down. They'll be able to do a lot of damage to Tino now as well. There's going to be that oh, okay. bushwhack once again onto that Terror Blade, oh, but the damage coming through. He might be able to get on top of Bombi, but CDR's going to be able to get the kill onto Lewis now as well. Surely they break the egg. They do. Yep. They take him down. The buyback comes through from Lewis. Is it going to be the buyback from everybody here? Castaway going to be able to get the Warriors punch onto Tino. Tino's taking a lot of damage. The split Earth comes through, yeah. but Tino still had that BKB. They've taken down three. They've taken down Everyone's four. They've taken down back. five. And this is going to be, yeah, the buyback's coming through for execration. And I don't even know if they want to back themselves away. For this one, Ian, you usually be a yeah, cool. We baited up four buybacks, and now they come through onto this one. They're gonna be able to get the kill onto Tino. He goes down. They've that's Aww. a dieback. They've, they've taken what six kills here so far, seven kills seven. now. Taking down the support, Terrorblade. I said it, it was a 10 versus five, and the five are coming out so much further ahead. Honestly, I'm not sure why Abbott held his buyback. They were Tino jumps in, you're like. Guys, we either all go in or it's not worth it. Like, why are you, yeah. you, you know, four people use bye-bye. This guy's like, nah. It's like you roll with the team at that point. And Abed, he wasn't rolling. No. And Tino, he was rolling too hard. And Tino loses his life. CML as well. This, uh, is it? Looking like Neon's going to be taking this series. And up, oh, they caught. GG. Yeah. With... Everybody alive on the side of Neon, two heroes still being dead and all of the buybacks being used here. Execration, don't think there was a way back into it, so they will be calling the GG 32 minutes into the third game with a 31 kill lead here. Excuse me, 31 kills to 13 and 33k, all the threes coming out. And Neon